Okay, everybody, so for our kids' belt promotion test, we have our six mandatory stripes. We have one or two other stripes that you are able to earn, like our silver stripe, and some classes are doing our orange stripe, but our six main stripes, our green stripe, our character development, our mental focus, we have several words of the week that you're gonna need to know, um, and we will send this out to you. So there's essentially 16 words going from honesty, integrity, self-esteem, etc., all the way up to listening skills, which we'll be covering uh, the week before the belt promotion, okay? And then our yellow stripes are striking, and we're gonna show you all the different strikes, but you're expected to know and have practiced these strikes, okay? So whether it's the punches or the kicks or any of that stuff. Our red stripe is our self-defense stripe, okay? These are all the jiu-jitsu moves that we've learned to escape from bad positions or improve our position, et cetera, okay? Um, and we'll show you all those as well. Our, our purple stripe is our grappling stripe. This one you have to earn in class and you'll earn it on your belt promotion day as well. But this is when we're doing our very best while we're grappling doing our best, being a good partner, so we have mutual welfare and benefit. Both parties are learning, getting better, and having a hard time, to be honest, okay? So we need to go through that struggle so that we get better. Um, and then we have our blue stripe. Our blue stripe this time is our creative form, so you get to make up your own form, okay? Uh, we're not making you memorize any of those old uh, Taekwondo forms, we're letting you do your own, beating up your bad guys all around you, um, and, and 16 to 20 moves, essentially. Our black stripe is our fitness requirement. So all of our warm-ups that you're doing, your push-ups, your squats, your running, all that stuff, your forward rolls, backward rolls, this is all your black stripe, okay? So we wanna see you guys trying your very best, okay? You don't always have to be the best at doing a cartwheel, but you have to try, okay? Um, and then we have our board break. Our board break is our final thing for our belt promotion. And for that, you guys get to choose your own break this time, okay? Now, I will. we will all coach you in terms of what's a safe way to break a board and what's not a safe way to break a board. But essentially, you'll get to choose how you want to do that, okay? We prefer like with an elbow or a kick or something like that. Um, so that way you're not gonna hurt your, your hand. You know, there's certain things you can do, like hammer fist is, is fairly safe, but punching with your knuckles, it takes a long time to really practice getting it just right, making sure you make contact with the right spot. So think of some crazy cool kick if you want and use that to break the board. That would be fun too. All right, so I hope this answers your guys' questions for your for the belt promotion requirements, and we're going to show you all those, okay? Enjoy. I want my legs wrapped around them, and he is in my corner. Side control is when I have one arm underneath their head and one arm underneath their arm, and I have my hands together like this, and I'm putting my weight on top of them. My knees, one knee is next to their head, one knee is next to their belt, and I have a good base. Okay, another type of side control is 100 kilo, where I have one hip on the ground and my leg is out underneath their shoulder right here and the other knee is up so I have a good base and I'm putting all my weight on him. I also have my arm over his arm and I keep this close. Instead of my knees bent, I have them out like this. This puts a lot more pressure on him as well. So for now, I'm sitting on top of him with my knees down and I'm past his legs so that I have more control over him. This is a good position for me but not for him. Also, my hands are out so I have a good base and that he can't throw me off. Okay, so for back, this is a good position for me, but not for him. I have my feet in front of his hips, which are called hooks. My feet are, are together, not crossed. My hands, one hand is over his shoulder, and one hand underneath his arm. I have my grip right here. And the last thing is I have my snuggle head, which is super tight. So I have my hooks, my seatbelt, and my snuggle head, and now he can't get out very easily. So for a wrestling shot, I'll have my hands up, I'm gonna squat down, and my front knee is gonna touch on the ground. I don't want my back knee touching. Once my front knee touches, I'm gonna step forward with my other foot and stand up. So same wrestling shot, I'm gonna squat down, my knee goes right between their feet, I grab behind their knees, and my head is gonna be up tall. When I step, I'm gonna push with my head to the left and take it down this way. So from guard, I wanna get on mount, so for that, I'm gonna do a hip bump sweep. I'm gonna go all the way up on my hand, not my elbow, and reach over and grab his arm right here. I'm gonna pin this tight so that he can't put his hand out when I bump. I'm gonna unlock my guard, Bump my hips up high, higher than his, and then sweep him over. So this time we're gonna do a standing guard pass. I need to control one arm, okay? So I use two of my hands to control one arm. I'm, I like to step up on the side that I'm controlling so that he can't trip me. If I step up on the other side, he's gonna reach and potentially knock me over one or the other. So I control this, put it on him, and I stand with this foot. I'm gonna put, stand all the way up with my head up tall, and now I can push and grab his knee and push it open. Now from here I can go through his legs, okay, like a knee slice pass. I can go around his legs like a double under pass, okay. If 
but I need to get this standing pass. Okay, so let's quickly do that one more time. Two on one, stand, stand, up tall, grab, push and shake it open, and I can go under or through. Just to get past those legs. Okay. Alright, so if we get knocked over, we're going to Okay, hands up to our sides, kick out. Okay. Now we're going to make our shield with our hand and our elbow. Okay. Make sure we're on our hand and our elbow. Alright, now with this foot and this hand, we're going to get our hip off the floor. We're going to float like a magic carpet. Okay. Then this front foot is going to kick through our legs. Okay. Alright, so punch defense from the bottom. He's gonna swing a big haymaker and I go up to meet uh, meet him, right? I want to make sure that my forearm is blocking his bicep and my hand is going all the way around his tricep. My other arm is going to hug at his head. This way he can't hit me with this arm and his other arm is also too far away to hit me. Okay? Once I'm here, I can hip out on my side and try to get my knee in the same place as my arm. My other knee can come up and pinch tight. From here, it's really, really hard for him to get any sort of punches off. Alright, so if, if their hands are on our chest, we can do a bump and roll, right? Like that. Okay, but if their hands are out, super wide, and you usually can't roll them over. So we're gonna have to do a shrimp, right? So, take our two hands, alright? Put it on their knee, okay? Put it all the way on their side, alright? Use our butt to push their other leg away, okay? Use our hands to push the knee off, okay? And then we'll get our knee through, okay? And then wrap around it. Then we turn on the other side. Take our two hands, put it on their knee, and then push it away. We get our knee, get our knee through, and we go to full guard. So a lot of times, someone in the fight will, might do a headlock like this. A good thing for me is that they can't choke me, but they can punch me. So to, to block that punch, I'm gonna have one arm underneath his arm right here, but around his back. I'm gonna grab his arm right here. My other hand is also gonna grab his wrist. Now I wanna take him down, but I don't want to take him down on top of me. So I'm gonna sit back, but put him on his side. So I step behind him, sit down, and put him on his side. I want my knees back here so that I have good control. My bottom arm is gonna come out, and I'm gonna put it on his head. I wanna get his arm off of my head, so to do that, I need to push on his head to get my head up. But usually just my arm is not enough, so I'm gonna put my knee on his head and kind of push down. My other hand is gonna go on his wrist right here and I'm gonna peel it off and look towards his legs. Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, roll, roll, slip, slip, stretching kick, crescent kick, Axe kick, roundhouse kick, front kick, side kick, step behind side kick, back kick, stretching kick, crescent kick, axe kick, roundhouse kick, Front kick, back leg side kick, stepping side kick, 